Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film Solo Trip episodes talking about all things spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and all of that stuff. So I haven't filmed a video in so long. Honestly, I think it was before Christmas when I last filmed a video. And I can't believe we're already on day 15. Day fucking 15 of 2020. Like, what the hell? It goes so quick, I swear. But that probably is a sign of getting old, to be fair. But it does literally fly. So, Happy New Year. I hope you had the best celebration and the best Christmas and all of that stuff. And I'm really trying to be consistent again and get back in the swing of things. But I know that this isn't the real New Year because obviously they did switch the calendar. I can't even remember the word of what it's called, but they moved New Year. It's supposed to be in spring, which would make sense because that's when everything comes back to life. But they switched it to when everything is dead and dying and hibernating and you just want to curl up in a ball and not move. So obviously that's to throw off our body clock and make us feel all dis- dis- Wait, what's the word? Dis- oriented <laughs> I don't know why sometimes I just can't get words out but anyway so for today's video I just wanted to kind of ease back into it and talk about something that I'm really dealing with right now because I feel like when I'm in the moment of it it's so much easier to talk about and this is also something that I've struggled with for as long as I can remember I really feel like it's a karmic cycle type thing that I've brought from past lives although I've never done past life regression probably should do that I think I would like to do that but it's just something that I'm feeling must have been brought from past lives because for me to feel it from such a young age like it doesn't just come out of nowhere you know so I want to talk about unworthiness and shame and I mean all of that is a part of fear but I definitely feel like unworthiness can be something that's programmed into us through our experiences in our childhood and you may not be aware of the fact that it's happened but I feel like I'm gonna get a little bit vulnerable in this video because I uh, I want to share my own experiences with it because I definitely think that's an easier way to like explain an emotion is to talk about how you've experienced it and then how you pull yourself out of it and let it go essentially so yeah I don't know, I think a lot of people struggle with unworthiness and shame, especially in today's world with social media and like all of these different standards of beauty and standards of what's successful and what's right and what's wrong and all of that kind of stuff, you know, they're like societal constructs, so it can make you feel very unworthy and I do think that stems from a lot younger like not just your 20s like I'm in or your teen years but it can stem even before then you know it can stem from complete childhood like really young and for me I definitely feel like mine stems from I mean I haven't even gone back that far because one technique that I did learn and I think it was from Teal Swan when she said about like go back to when you first ever felt that emotion like literally trace your mind trace your memories and in meditation go back to the first time you ever felt that emotion whatever emotion it is that you're trying to uncover the root of and for me I feel like there's been so many times that I've felt unworthiness and felt shamed or ashamed of not just insecurities in like what you should look like and what you should be doing with your life but just in existence like I felt so ashamed to just be me and just be who I am and like put that out there publicly you know not just like online with music but I mean even as a child like to just be that in front of other people made me feel really ashamed and unworthy and insecure and completely doubt who I was you know, and why I'm here and that kind of stuff. So I don't think I've even traced it back to the root yet (laughs) because there's been so many occasions where I've felt that throughout childhood that I don't think I've really even got to like the first time I experienced it. So I definitely want to meditate on it more and it's not something that I've completely healed or got rid of or like transmuted. It's just 
is something that I'm still dealing with, you know, and I think that's another reason why I want to sit here and talk about it today, because me just sitting here, like, talking to myself with a camera really does help you process things even further and uncover your own mind because sometimes I start speaking without even thinking about it and it just blurts out and then I'm like then I'm like oh you know you have little revelations when you do that so yeah um going back to what I was even trying to say is that you trace it back to the first time that you've ever felt an emotion and also I have learned that like there's a root, there's a first time that you've experienced something. So it could have been your parent having a go at you for something and then that's the first time that you felt shame or it could be any type of experience. But once you've experienced it once, you tend to repeat the cycles because you start to believe it, you start to buy into it. So say for example, you did something so-called wrong and whoever raised you like your mum or somebody maybe they yelled at you for it and they told you to stop doing that and you your body constricts like you start to feel shame and guilt and embarrassment and humiliation and then like the way that you hold on to that the way that you feel that the way that your body constricts and like goes inwards you then can carry that on into future experiences so then when somebody does something again and it triggers that same emotion of shame your body is like a muscle and a memory and it reacts exactly the same and I really realize now that that cycle, like that pattern keeps happening throughout my life where I'll feel that same emotion and it will get triggered by different experiences but it will trigger that same feeling and then you keep on doing it and you keep on doing it and it will just happen for the rest of your life until you become aware of it and you try to break it, like you break that cycle and that pattern which literally happens by taking control of your mind and being aware of like your surroundings and what happens, what type of situation occurs for then those thoughts to be triggered and then those emotions to be triggered afterwards, you know? So it really is self-awareness. But I think one of the key things is getting to the root of it so that you understand like why you're even triggered in that way, why it even happens. And so far I've uncovered so many fucking experiences of it which is really annoying but I do think that if I didn't go through that then I wouldn't be sitting here right now like I wouldn't be making music I wouldn't be doing any of those things so I know that all of our experiences have to happen for a reason like there's a much bigger picture as to why we've incarnated here why we've chosen this life and this path and like what we've come here to learn you know and to grow from because literally everyone that incarnates here seems to have some type of human struggle, you know? We all seem to go through something, and some are worse than others, absolutely, but we all have our own experience of something, you know? Something that we have to pull ourselves through. So, it all happens for a reason, and it helps you get to where you need to go, you know? So I'm not even saying this, I was like, because I feel like that again is shame, like you start to feel ashamed of the fact that you feel ashamed, which is so ridiculous, but you can, because then when you start to face it and you uncover it, it can then make you feel worse, you know, so you have to go all the way through it of like, first you feel worse, but then the more that you face it, the more that you uncover it, you then start to heal from it and forgive that situation, forgive the other people, forgive yourself, you know, and then it does start to get better. But yeah, I'm kind of scared to even talk about these experiences because it's just like, I don't know, I don't talk about it to anyone, like not a single person except myself. I talk about it to myself and I journal it out, but I don't know, it's kind of really vulnerable. But I do know that I have a lot of young people that follow me, especially on Instagram and you guys always are DMing me, like a lot of people start to tell me little things of what they're going through and they ask for my advice and my opinion and like I feel really grateful that you're even feeling comfortable enough to share that experience with me you know and to seek my advice and my opinion and then I don't know it makes me feel like I should also be as vulnerable and share my own experiences with you because 
a lot of you are going through similar things and you're actually in the middle of it whereas for me it was the past but some people are dealing with it right now you know so I kind of want to just open up a little bit and talk about some of my experiences so yeah I feel like unworthiness is a real deep rooted belief and is something that I experienced a lot through childhood and a lot, especially through school years. It was, I mean, I always say, anyone that asks me about school, I always say it was the worst time of my life. Like it literally was hell. <laughs> I don't know any other way to put it. Like I hated it, absolutely hated it. And it wasn't the lessons, although they were boring as hell and I don't like the school system, but that's for a whole other video. Like even just pushing that whole system to the side, it was just the social dynamic of it. I absolutely hated it and I didn't fit in with anyone. And even my own friends with the people, so-called friends, were the people that were treating me the worst, you know? And I know it was just like a horrific experience and I know that other people have probably gone through way worse but that doesn't take away from how it feels you know everyone could have gone through way worse things and experiences but we all still feel the same emotions so it doesn't no one's experience can take away from yours I just want to like put that out there you know because often that also leads to shame but yeah I just didn't like school like and it was obviously the people and the like the social ladder of trying to fit in and trying to be accepted and then having people constantly judge you and make you feel outcasted for absolutely no reason you know there will be dumb reasons like oh your hair's curly and ours is straight or like just ridiculous things you know so I don't know <laughs> It was just a really, really shit time. And now, especially um, the build up to the new year, I started to try and go back into those experiences, like literally reliving them, trying to go back into those memories and really like uncover where I went wrong or where I would do better and where other people hurt me and like, I literally would just go back into all of these experiences which is probably another reason why I haven't made videos because I was going back into all of these memories and I just was not in the right frame of mind to sit down and talk to people and like talk about other topics that I just had no like focus on right now you know so yeah I think like going back into the memories is so hard and so like it's it's painful you know you're going back into experiences that you want to forget you're going back into things that made you feel so low and so shit and so unworthy and nobody wants to feel that but the only way to release it the only way to heal it the only way to let it go is to go back into it you actually have to and this goes for any experience not just unworthiness and not just like bullying and school years it can be anything and no it isn't easy and no it isn't nice and no it's not fun <laughs> but I don't know I think it's like accepting that it happened and accepting it that you handled it in a certain way that maybe you would do better now and accepting that these people did these things and behaved this certain way and treated you this certain way and no it wasn't right but it's like you go back to it so that you can and it's not even about forgiving them like you're forgiving them but you're forgiving yourself and you're forgiving them for yourself not for them you know and it's like you go back into those memories and you look at all of the things that happened and you look at how you would do it better and you look at the things that you hate and you look at the things that make you feel so triggered because then like you acknowledge it and then you can start to forgive yourself and start to like reaffirm what you need, you know? So like, I'll go back to my child self because literally these situations happened. I wanna say from like nine years old to 16, but I feel like the main portion, like the main events, <laughs> I don't even know how to word this, but like the most intense bullying was 
from, I would say like 13-ish, 13 years old to, four, to 14, 13 to 16 was like the fucking worst, <laughs> absolute worst. And so now I try and go back to those memories I forgot what I was even going to say, but I tried to go back to those memories and really like look at the different things that happened and look at how much I was giving my power away. Like I will literally look at the things that I did in response to what they did, you know, because obviously people do all types of behaviour for their own million and one reasons, you know. So I know that people that are in school that bully other people are almost in survival mode themselves you know like they're trying to be accepted they want to fit in they want to climb the social ladder you know like we're all experiencing the same thing but we just handle it in different ways so some people lash out and they put other people down some people become completely like inferior and just collapse in themselves and they retreat and they don't speak you know which is what I did but I was always a shy child so it makes sense that I would not like I wouldn't lash out and become like this, you know, like there's two polarities. So there's inferior and then there's superior and superior can go almost to arrogance and to belittling other people and looking down upon other people to make yourself feel better. And because I was so shy, I went to the complete opposite end of just crumbling in fear, you know, and not wanting to be seen, not wanting to speak, not wanting to put my hand up in class to ask any questions. Like I just didn't, care to be there <laughs> I didn't care to speak I didn't care to associate with anything I just wanted the ground to swallow me up and let me leave let me go back home and just retreat to my fucking bed you know like it was that level of extreme so I think that that like we're all dealing with the same issue and the same kind of maybe not the same experience and the same issue but the same emotion we're all dealing with the same emotion and we just handle it different ways so once you understand that they are also dealing with the same emotion that you were dealing with you can like it's easy to kind of let go of anger and anything that you feel towards them and then you can start to address yourself and look at what you're feeling and why you're feeling that or why you were feeling that Oh, we're back, we're back. I can't remember where I just left this video off now. Oh, I hate when that happens. But anyway, so what was I talking about? Like, um, you don't forgive them, you forgive them for yourself. And then you uncover where you were coming from, like how you handled things, the way that you responded to people. And like, like the fact that I completely went into my shell and just hid almost like I didn't want to be myself I didn't want to be there I just wanted to leave and I feel like now I know better so now I would just be myself you know but back then when you're a child especially when you're a teenager and stuff and you're you're dealing with your own hormonal things as well and like puberty and stuff and then you've got all of these other people around you dealing with it so you don't really handle things in the best way you know so yeah, I don't know, I just think it's key to really go back to these experiences and try to uncover all of the aspects of it, the right and the wrong and everything and just really be able to forgive your goddamn self and that's something that I'm really working through right now. So I just think that's a part of this human experience to be honest, like from everything that I've uncovered to do with the spirit, like spirituality and how the universe works and how our body works and all of this stuff all the way to ancient cultures and the things that they taught and the things that they already knew you know that we're only just discovering now and like literally from everything that I go through I realize the one thing like the one focus that we should have is our emotional body and really healing our emotional body like really coming to understand which emotions we feel consistently and why you know and then being able to find the balance like being able to work through those emotions and get them to where you want them to be I think that is the key to this experience and a lot of that comes back to reprogramming your mind because thoughts trigger your emotions so yeah 
it's just a lot of shadow work and that's what I'm really doing right now so I just wanted to talk about it a little bit because it's thrown me off and it's even prevented me from filming videos and like I haven't even made music properly since before Christmas either so it does really affect you but at the same time it's a process like it's a transformational process you're literally shedding so much of the old so much of the past so many memories that don't serve you anymore because they just keep you stuck there you know so going through that process doing that shadow work although it can feel like it's a distraction it can feel like it's taking you away from the now and the things that you want to do now at the same time it is a huge like weightlifter you know it takes so much of the past off of you and that is a really really important process to go through because it leaves you so much lighter and so much freer so then when you do start to do other things and you focus on the things that you do want and like you're able to be more present in the now and in the experiences that you're having right now and you're also able to appreciate them you know because now I can look at my life now and it's just a million times different did that phrase even sound right I swear I always say things in the weirdest way <laughs> like words just get scrambled in my head but anyway like my life is completely transformed and there's so much to be grateful for and there's so much that I love and just oh I do love my life right now but back then I didn't and if I didn't uncover those things and like heal through them, I don't think I would be where I am right now, you know, like only you can get yourself there. You have to put in the work and the effort and the dedication and the focus to get you to where you want to be. And oftentimes that means facing the past and it means facing these deep rooted beliefs and wounds that we hold, you know, and unworthiness is like, like it doesn't. To me, it doesn't even mean insecurity. It really means like, to, in order to be feeling so unworthy that you don't feel like you can exist, that you don't feel like you can be you, that is such a toxic, low vibrational belief. Like that is a deep rooted fucking wound, you know? And for a long time, I kind of skirted around it and ran from it and didn't want to face it because it meant facing these past experiences. And that is a scary thing to do, but it's so liberating. So I just want to leave like the final message. I have written some things down of like how to pull yourself out of that. Obviously, you have to go through the painfulness. You have to go through the shadow work. You have to go through the darkness to bring the light in you know like you have to go into it but then once you do those memories no longer hold such a grip on you such a like because it's like suffocating you know and also you'll notice where you've repeated those patterns so maybe you experience something with your parent and then you notice that you keep experiencing it through um, romantic partners or maybe you notice you experienced it with a friend and now you keep experiencing it with each new friend and each new romantic partner and each family member you know like it repeats in so many ways that you have to just get to the root of it and forgive both people both parties both sides whatever but most importantly it's forgiving yourself so if you are feeling unworthy just know like you came here for a goddamn reason you didn't come here to sit here and suffer forever like you didn't and although you have experienced some negative some horrible some awful things like they don't have to define you. They don't have to keep you stuck there. They don't have to cling on to you. You can, like, you have the power to let that shit go. You have the power to move beyond it. You have the power to be who you are and embrace who you are and love who you are. Because that's who you came here to be. You didn't come here to be anyone else. You didn't come here to be what everyone else thinks you should be or what they tell you you should be. You literally came here to be you, you know? And that's it you came here to be you for a reason <laughs> and you have a purpose so don't let them hold you back anymore don't let those memories hold you back anymore you know don't let those past experiences hold you back anymore because it is about getting back to the now but you have to face the past first and then when you get to back to the now you can appreciate everything so yeah I think I'm gonna leave it there because I don't really want to go into like 
actual experiences and like specific things that happen because I just don't feel like that's really necessary you know that's just something for my own mind and my own memories to then work through you know I don't think I need to like delve into that too much but maybe I will do some videos where I talk about specific things that happened just I don't know I'm kind of torn between what I share and what I don't share you know because I don't want to I don't know. I feel like when you air your dirty laundry out there, it's just on the internet forever, even if you delete the video. So it just makes me feel a little bit weird. But I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you start to like really just do the shadow work now and uncover yourself and let go of all of the other things that don't resonate anymore because they don't serve a purpose anymore if they don't resonate, you know? And there's no reason for you to hold on to them. So thank you so much for listening and watching and I really really like truly appreciate your support I know I haven't released music in quite a while now like I think it was July last year when I last released a song but I've just been working on so much new music I can't even tell you how many songs I have written how many beats I have made but it's just a process because I've only been producing myself for the past year and a bit so I've been trying to like crash course learn how to do it but new music this year, like this year is going to be the year of just everything. So I'm really, really excited and I appreciate you sticking by me and coming along this journey with me. And I hope that I can help you along the way. So thank you so much for listening and watching and all links to my music and social media and our private Instagram community of healing and just really supporting each other is all down below. As well as my phone number, you can text me if you want to chat a little bit further. And I can also text you updates as well with music and stuff like that. So, yes, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, think you might. I'm the thing you like in my range all white. Think he might, I'm the thing he like, pick my range, oh, I.